Yes? Yes, I'll be there. What was that? An invitation. Breaking Bad is a groundbreaking television drama. The absence that Breaking Bad left in the television landscape is still felt to this day. There is no shortage of challenging and ambitious television series that dominate the medium. However, many shows overextended themselves or don't know when to say goodbye. While there have been many TV shows in the same genre, comparing them with Breaking Bad will not do them any justice. Ever since this incredible show has come to an end, fans have been looking for other shows to fill the gap left in their hearts. Being a huge fan, we have compiled a list of some shows that should keep you occupied for a while. Number 10, Sons of Anarchy 2008. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just looking for your dad. I'm a friend of his. Let me see the ink. What? Your cats, prove it. The life of a criminal is usually rife with drama and insanity, which tends to make for compelling TV. Such is the case with Sons of Anarchy, an FX crime drama that hinges on crude and dark plot lines to provide many edge of your seat moments. If the show looks and feels authentic in its presentation and convincing biker outlaws, that's partly because of David LaBrava's input. An actual former member of the Oakland Hells Angels. Like Better Call Saul was to Breaking Bad, this renowned crime show also spawned its own spin-off, 2018's Mayans MC, which hones in on Mexican-American culture. Number 9, The Sopranos, 1999. Since even with Tony's advice, you seem determined to sell your father's company, there's something you should know. Whatever happens, we gotta be taken care of. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna honor whatever provisions are in the contract. Fuck the contract. The story revolves around Tony Soprano, a mobster with a good heart. James Gandolfini plays a grumpy, likable mobster living two lives, one as a caring father and husband, and the other as a ruthless, old-school mobster who knows how to get business done. We can't think of any other TV show where people rooted for the anti-hero so much throughout the show. He loves to be who he is, a horrible human being and a man to be feared and respected. His other side, though, is what makes him one of the most likable characters in the history of television. He is a man who spares no betrayer but stands by those loyal to him. At times, this show might be a little sexist, but the brilliant writing and acting ensure that it never gets out of line. Number 8, The Shield, 2002. I need my ding-dongs, and you took them, didn't you? Right. Because I can't make it through the night without eating one of your precious ding-dongs. Breaking Bad was particularly effective in showing that even the most seemingly upstanding person can be corrupted under certain circumstances. This crime drama similarly stresses this cautionary tale, honing in on police corruption in the fictional Farmington District of Los Angeles. Sean Ryan's award-winning show has captivated audiences for seven seasons with its thrilling plots involving everything from drug lords to train heists. Like Breaking Bad, this drama showcases a darker, grittier side to American society and it's even more gripping because of it. Number 7, Boardwalk Empire, 2010. The notion of smuggling alcohol may not seem like a particularly intense or high-stakes premise. Yet, this was considered a major crime in 1920s America. And this period crime show excels in taking its viewers on a ride to the brief but turbulent era of prohibition. During its run from 2010 to 2014, Boardwalk Empire has notched a whopping 57 Primetime Emmy Awards while winning 20. This is namely thanks to some convincing performances, dynamic narratives, and authentic set pieces that paint the scene nicely. Number 6, Deadwood, 2004. How well do you know the other guy? Who would that be? If my man Dougherty killed Captain. We served in the 69th New York. Shifting gears to a program that's a bit more subdued but no less nuanced, Deadwood holds the distinction of being a fairly modern western drama that's truly captivating. Fans will tell you that while this criminally short-lived HBO show only lasted a few seasons, each of the 36 episodes is chock full of character dramas and thrilling plot lines. This is all dressed with some gritty authentic set pieces and solid performances that make you feel like you're following the harsh lies of Seth Bullock and Al Swearingen. While it takes place in 1870s South Dakota, the rough and tumble setting of Deadwood and its way of life is distinctly rich. Number 5, Weeds, 2005. She's sniffing me to see if my cancer has spread. Hi. 
Would you like me to smell you next? No, thank you. I was smelled yesterday. You can really make the argument that this Showtime series, which lasted from 2005 to 2012, is largely Breaking Bad before Breaking Bad, given the wealth of similarities. This charming yet dark suburban dramedy can be considered a more tame version of that show. It similarly revolves around a troubled protagonist living a dual life as a parent and a drug pusher. Yet, in this case, it's a single mom selling marijuana to get some extra cash for her family. Likewise, the show hosts tons of colorful supporting characters that bring life to the show. This ranges from the nosy neighbor played by Elizabeth Perkins to Nancy's wisecracking brother-in-law Andy and quirky neighbor Doug played by Justin Kirk and Kevin Nealon, respectively. Number 4, Fargo, 2014. I'll be a minute. Is this the minute? I could come with. No, 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 I, I gotta throw and spook him. Though you should watch the original movie before getting into this TV series, it's not a prerequisite. Set in the same universe as the original film, its anthology format has helped the series in carving its own identity in the landscape crammed with neo-noirs and crime dramas. Its anthological style paves the way for creative, wacky storytelling without much world building. Since there are only 10 episodes to tell a story, creative fuel burns with more vigor. Just like Breaking Bad, the storylines are breathtaking with no respite. Fargo's ruthless gray world doesn't have any clinched good or bad guys. Everyone has their justifiable motives. They're fighting for their families and businesses. Number 3, The Wire, 2002. How many times have you been arrested as an adult, Mr. Little? Sure, I've lost count. Not doing that to take it personal. This renowned HBO drama checks off most of the key Breaking Bad boxes, aside perhaps on its comedic tinge. You've got a similarly complex commentary on society featuring a slew of downtrodden anti-heroes. Likewise, The Wire also conveys the dangers of forces like wealth, power, and drugs in their ability to corrupt and lead to violence and chaos. In a Fargo-esque move, each season hones in on a different premise and setting, drifting from one institution and set of characters to the next. As creator David Simon explains, The Wire is about the American city and how we live together. It's about how institutions have an effect on individuals. Number 2, Oz, 1997. That is definitely rat shit. One big fucking rat. Smell it. Get that away from me. As in the case with Breaking Bad, Tom Fontana's Oz represents a rich and memorable drama with a gritty bent over the course of just a handful of seasons. Despite its focused prison setting, Oz offers depth and intrigue by shifting between different characters of various traits and moral standings. Bouncing from prisoners to the staff all the way up to the warden. This can certainly be compared to Gilligan's show as can the often unexpected shocking deaths. Along with hits like The Sopranos, this show helped propel HBO into the stratosphere in terms of television clout. Number 1. Orange is the New Black, 2013 you think you're a big fucking man now, beating up on girls? I said shut up! Oh, you gonna put hands on me? I'm not an inmate. I got rights now. Plus, I just had a spirulina smoothie, so let's go. Yeah. Breaking Bad provides some gripping drama infused with some fairly dark comedy to balance things out. Such is also the case with this hit Netflix series, Orange is the New Black. This award-winning show has kept viewers coming back for a whopping seven seasons, becoming the streaming service's most-watched original series. This isn't surprising to the show's millions of fans, as the prison shenanigans of this dynamic cast provide some uniquely compelling TV. The show also takes a break from the glum settings of the female prison, presenting dramatic flashbacks of major events of various characters. Like AMC's classic show, this comedy drama uses deep, character-driven plots laced with gritty undertones to flesh out its narrative. This is it for today, and I hope you liked the video. If you disagree with our list, please give us your opinion in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to Series Pulse for more top 10 videos.